Hey everyone, it's Neon Polygons, and today I'm making a kind of an unusual video. I just recently did a review of the Polymega, and I seem to be having some issues of mine. Um, case in point, I've already uploaded maybe hundreds of games, as you can see here. I have 350 PlayStation, uh, you know, 135 Saturn games. And, you know, a number of extended sets, uh, 44 games that were not in the database. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of having a head scratcher here right now because every disc that I'm trying to install into the Polymega, just take a listen for yourself. So this is a game that I was able to add, it was able to recognize the disc, but for whatever reason, um, like now every disc I put in is starting to fail and just take a listen to the engine you can hear the polymega trying to read like the cd drive trying to read it then it slowly quiets out then it goes into a heavy burn, then it dies out again. And it finally just says ejecting unsupported disk. I, I'm at a loss for words of what's happening with my Polymega right now. Um, You know, I just even put in dust that I've already installed and it's saying it's unsupported. So I, I did inject it, ejected it on its own. Let me go try another disc. Um, this is NASCAR 98. This is a game I have not installed yet. It knows there's a disc in there, but you can hear the CD drive. It's trying, and then finally it just says ejecting unsupported disc. Um, there's something wrong with the disc. This is happening with every disc that I'm putting in right now. <sighs> I'm afraid to even exchange this because I I know that there's some unit issues with Polymega right now, but more importantly, I've installed so many games that I can't do this again. Um, I, I cannot, some of these games I don't even have anymore. I've, I've now gone rid of them. Hey, very weird fix I've got going on right now. Um, what I did was I turned the Polymega upside down, uh, put in another game I've never installed, which is this random kids game called Bob the Builder. It's a very small, very small game. Um, and as you can hear, you can, can kind of hear my Polymega like roaring right now. But the reason I did this was because I figured, okay, there, maybe I gotta like just try a little bit of old school retro tactics here and turn the Polymega upside down, just kind of like how I did the old PlayStation drive, uh, the original PlayStation, where I had to kind of turn it upside down, see how that kind of, you know, let gravity do its part. And maybe that was the trick. Now. I can't obviously keep my Palomega upside down, <laughs> you know, keep on doing this, uh, but it, it seems to be working. It seems to be actually put, um, keeping the CD drive in check. So I'm letting this thing finish 
then I'm going to turn it off, flip it back again upside down, and see what happens. So wish me luck. Now here's a weird thing. Normally with the Polymega, once it kind of gets to a certain percentage, uh, like around 90, it's, my CD drive starts to get quiet and it does its thing. So I'm gonna eject this right now. I'm gonna turn this off, flip it back upside down, and hopefully this, this did the trick. But just to be safe, I'm gonna put another game in here, then I'll flip it. So this is, actually not put this game. This game was already recognized before, but it didn't install. So let's try one more game to install. Now this is a very small game. This is about 33 megabytes, so it should literally take 10 seconds. You can hear again uh, my Polymega roaring. So the drive is definitely working when it's upside down. It's not ideal. <laughs> Here it is. It does recognize it. Originally this was the game that I tried to put in and it didn't, didn't work. I'm gonna install it. Say yes. So it's at, it's quickly going, 50, 60. This should be like one, two, three. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it in here. I'm gonna keep the disc in the platform after it installs. Okay, I'm gonna turn this sucker off. You can hear my Polymega getting quiet. I'm gonna shut down. I'm gonna flip my Polymega back. Okay, flipped it. Back on the right side. Here we go again. Disc is already still inside there. Let's make sure this works. It's powering on. Now the, the disc is inside, it's being read. Let's hope this works. Okay. Disc is still in series. So this was a disc that I just installed, which was American Pool, which was a very small 33 megabyte um, install. It's recognized. I'm gonna eject it. Okay, so here's a new test. Will it recognize a new game? Or will it still give that same problem of uh, engine dying, uh, CD drive dying? So let's be a little bit quiet and take a listen. Okay, it actually recognized it. All right, so let's give it a shot again. Add to collection and install. Okay, let's see if this goes all the way. So the trick worked. Um, I don't have an explanation as to why it worked. All I know is that um, if you're Polymega may have an issue with reading CDs or potentially even uh, intaking CDs. A good trick to probably try, and I'm not sure if it would be recommended by the Polymega team, would be to flip your Polymega upside down and insert the disc uh, via that method. My only logic for why it does work is perhaps um, there is an issue with the CD uh, or a rotating motor in the CD drive, 
And so by flipping it upside down, you're essentially doing two things. You're letting kind of gravity help uh, essentially move the, the gears to hopefully keep them spinning. And potentially, I guess, like realign the CD drive is the best way for me to put it. But, you know, to give you some content when, context, when I had initially got my Polymega, I did have an issue with my drive. The, the issue was at that time was not that reading or burning disk, but really um, like the, the intake of disk themselves. So essentially what would happen was uh, on the day before I would burn disk and then turn off the, the, the Polymega. And then the very next day when I would turn it on to resume burning disk, for whatever reason, every time I inserted a new disk or really any disk in general, it just wouldn't take it. It would literally, um, as soon as I would put it in, it would spit it right out. And I didn't really have um, kind of a solution for like why that, or, uh, uh, you know, I didn't really have an understanding why that would happen. So I did two things. One was uh, I flipped the Polymega upside down and maybe perhaps I could kind of, um, you know, shake it up a little bit in the sense that I can get the Polymega's motors to realign and run. And that was when I initially kind of did that turn it upside down uh, tactic. Now in this case, I my CD drive was was actually just uh, it was taking in the disc, but it wasn't spinning them. Um, it would try to get through the process, and then it would just kind of die and fizzle out, as you you know heard and saw earlier in the video. So I decided, you know what? Let me go try the same tactic I did with the PlayStation One when I first had it. And that was flip it upside down, and lo and behold, that's what actually kind of gets, you know, the CD drive to be to spin once again. And oddly enough, uh, after I kind of did this test, or sorry, did this trick, uh, two games that I initially had issues with in terms of like copying and burning them, I just for whatever re reason just decided, you know, let me go burn these two discs, uh, both discs. Uh, initially when I would try to put them in would quickly get spot out in terms of you know basically saying uh, the disc is unreadable but for whatever reason the Polymega you know after I kind of did this upside down trick it literally uh, took in both of those discs and um, you know burned them easily uh, and this is after you know maybe multiple tries before uh, of trying to burn these discs and you know uh, you know, quickly getting the message that their the disc media were unreadable. So, I don't know exactly what this trick just did, but in in some ways, it actually kind of uh, after turning upside down and realigning it, it actually kind of made the Polymega uh, disc burning capabilities even better. And I really don't have an explanation for that either. And that's also considering that these two discs that it uh, was able to burn after many many attempts of not being able to burn it before is that both of these discs are just like heavily scratched up, heavily scuffed up. Uh, just, I'm pretty sure one of them actually has like some gunk on, on the underside of the disc. And so I'm surprised that the Polymega, you know, I, I wasn't surprised that the Polymega was, was not able to read it uh, initially, but I am surprised that all of a sudden it is able to uh, read these discs. Uh, so with that said, I, I hope this little video may be able to help some of you who may encounter some issues with your Polymega and perhaps, you know, you might want to just try flipping it upside down. Again, I don't want to say that this is, would be recommended by the Polymega support team, but uh, in, in my case, you know, right now, um, and my fear of just having to turn it in and get it, you know, uh, you know, waiting for it to get repaired, I, you know, want to kind of try out this self you know, do it yourself trick and it worked. So um, again, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thanks.